Ah yes, Eggman Land. You either think it's the greatest Sonic stage ever created, or you wish it would die and burn and never be talked about again. If you're wondering what side I'm on, I think it's one of the greatest Sonic stages ever. M maybe the best one. I'm not sure, but I'm still in that honeymoon phase, so I can't really give an accurate opinion, if you get what I mean. But with that said, I do understand the other side of the argument, because really with this stage, everything that people like about it are the exact same reasons that people hate it. Think about it, if I say it's a long stage that is difficult and puts your skills to the test, those could all be reasons to praise it, and those could all be reasons to literally say it's horrible. It just depends on where your stance is. I, I do have one issue with this stage that I, I wanna discuss quickly. It it's the simple fact that it's too long. I'm sure this is a common complaint, and so I would like to get it out of the way first. I appreciate that the stages are longer near the end. That makes sense. It's, it gives a finality to it that makes sense. I am fine with that. But I wish that they would have split the stage cleanly in half. That would make it literally perfect. It would be the best Sonic stage, no question. But just the fact that it's a little bit too long, in my opinion, just takes away from it, honestly. Like, I appreciate, like I said, that it's longer, but it's honestly weighed down by how long it is because it's a fun stage to speed run, but man, it is, like, how are you supposed to keep up a good run for 15 minutes straight? Good grief. Like, you just can't maintain a streak that long. I just think that's a little bit too much. If it was split in half, I would be great with that because then you get the difficulty and you get longer-ish stages, but you don't have to go that long. And to be honest, that's kind of my only complaint with it. Everything else is just flipping awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The challenge is amazing because it's the type of challenge that isn't like rage kind of challenge because there's checkpoints everywhere and the stage is littered with lives like seriously there are lives everywhere so I, I feel like the difficulty is fair because it may take you forever but they don't make you restart if you're not good you know what I mean like it's very it's very forgiving it allows you to mess up a lot so that you can eventually get it right and I understand that because there's a lot of people that got like 70 minutes on their first run which is kind of surprising to me, but you know, I also understand it. So yeah, the difficulty is very cool. If this is only one of the only times that I've ever felt like it was truly difficult, but not just rage material, because anytime anything's been challenging in games for me, it's just been jank or overly unforgiving. Like it's it just you're completely relentless. This stage is difficult, but very fair. Ah. Ugh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Like, oh, it, it's it's great. It's great. As I'm sure you can tell, I like the stage just a little bit. So instead of just gushing about it more, I'm going to go through the entire stage section by section and tell you what I like and maybe a couple things that I dislike if that comes relevant. The opening section. This is a really good way of putting Eggman Land into scale to tell you what kind of challenge you're going against. Because you start off the stage in a little enclosed room, you know, it's not, it's not crazy. You see some laser walls, and I appreciate that they've done this because these return a lot during the stage. So I'm glad they put them there to go ahead and showcase a gimmick of the stage. Because if they were removed, it, it wouldn't really change anything. It's one jump, that's it. So it's not really adding that much to the stage, it just, shows you what's coming later. Once you get out of this enclosed area, you get a QTE. I absolutely love this. You get to see everything going down this big downhill ramp. It's a great way to showcase how fast Sonic's going, A, and then B, you get to see how much Eggman has built. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. You get to see his face right there, shining. It's just, it's cool. It's a great way to put everything into scale, and then when you look down here, you see how small Sonic is. And it just, it's a really good way of putting everything into scale and to show you what kind of threat you're going against. After that comes your first night section. This section's pretty good. It's nothing really to write home about, and it doesn't really have any 
big issues. There is one little thing though, I wish on this little disc that you're at, I wish that less enemies would spawn. Like, it, you're just kind of spamming buttons. Like, this is the one time that's, like, destroying a horde of enemies isn't fun. Like, typically there's like 20 different enemies and you're getting to destroy all of them, but these dudes are on separate sides, so you're having to take on one at a time, which is kind of boring because it feels like this, like the Werehog was built to just slash through giant amounts of enemies, and that's fun, but this is kind of just, it gets a little stale because there's just a little too many. So after that, we're back to daytime, and this is also another banger section. I will say there is a little bit that you could say it's unfair, these little Eggman pillar things that get pushed out of the walls. They're good, and I think they're a cool gimmick, but if you did not play Colors already, like if this, if you played it when it came out, I'm sure it would be a little frustrating to kind of figure out how they work, so there's a good chance you probably would have died to them. But since I had already played Colors and, you know, seen them in Asteroid Coaster, um, already knew how they functioned, so it wasn't, uh, wasn't a big deal with those. So you make your way up there, you attack this enemy, and then, oh boy, this is kind of a doozy because you get to see this banger cutscene. Look at this. Now, I, I know some people would say, oh, you're just taking the control away from the player. This is automation. This is why we don't like Sonic. But I swear, that is unwarranted because, darn, this is a absolute, like, breath of fresh air. Because when you're sweating over here, because, I, I don't know, because I'm freaking out. I'm, like, trying to get a good run. And so when I get to this bit, it's always nice because you kind of get to put the controller down for like 10 seconds. You, you, you get some time, like I'll have a water beside me, I'll grab a sip of water. Like it sounds stupid, but when you're playing a stage that's as like, you gotta be all in to do this. It's very, it's a very appreciated little break and I'm glad they add those because there's a couple of them throughout the stage. You get thrown into a section using the snowboarding physics. Now, of course you're not actually snowboarding but you are using those same controls and so you go through this half pipe bit it's good but i feel like this is another section that could be a little unfair i don't blame people for kind of dying a lot on this so you go past hit these panels go off this ramp and you continue on and this one is also a good one oh it's mm, i love this this is probably my favorite part of the entire stage so you start off with this pipe bit, yeah, kind of okay. It's easy to fall off even when you're trying to stay on it. So kind of get here to this platform, you grab onto this, and then you swing over. You don't even have to make your way on the pipes. You can just swing over and do a double jump and you're good. So you see all these enemies, most people would fight them. Now you just go straight for the lever because I can't be bothered. After that, you go to the next room and then, well, most of the time you would take this pipe and continue on your way around. Or you could be cool and you could jump off, grab this ledge, jump, and then make your way around up here. Yeah, this is probably not intended. So we do another one of those ledge jumps and then we get onto this little platform here, get on this pipe, grab this, grab this other thing, and now we're on to the next bit. Now, of course, this is still a night bit, but you know, you just head over there, get the next lever, and then progress to a day section. Now, this day section is just kind of pretty good. It, there's nothing wrong with it directly, but it's not really that great either. Nothing to write home about. Honestly, there's not really anything unfair. The QTs can be a little difficult in some of the day sections, but yeah, yeah, you just kind of get through it. And I'm gonna be honest, while the rest of the stage is good, this is kind of where it just kind of cruises. It's not outstanding, but it's nowhere near bad or mediocre. It's it's good, it's very good, but it just kind of stays at a good quality for the rest of the stage. These sections are good. I think the only part that like actually kind of sticks out is this one werehog bit where you're swinging here and you gotta land on this gear. This gear is really hard to land on because the camera again. So yeah, kind of just more stuff. 
So once you get through a bunch of stuff, you get to go through these two rooms where you have to fight these massive enemies. I'm glad they did this because these are actually cool. You know, you get to do some combat to finish off the stage. I appreciate that. That's very cool. And also the fact that you have to fight two of them in the last room is really cool. Glad they give you, glad that they give you Unleash before you get to these because that is an absolute saving grace. That's it. I mean, that's the end of it. It's kind of sad that the rest of the stage after those first couple bits isn't really that much right to write home about. Honestly, I don't really have too much thoughts. I love the rest of the stage. It's great, but yeah, it just kind of exists. I can't really go on about too much about it. And so, with all of that said, it's a great stage, and I hope that if you don't currently enjoy it, that you could go back and hopefully find some fun in it, because it's a great stage, and I encourage you to replay it if you have the time. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.